Welcome back Cloud Cadets. In this video we are going to pretend that I am a uh, teammate. Uh, I've created this project, I've added it to Azure DevOps and now they need to git clone the project. But we have already seen uh, how to create it, but now let's see how to clone it. So we're going to pretend that I'm another user. So I'm going to create a folder here. Create a folder and I'm gonna name it Visual Studio. And I'm just gonna, for good measure, leave out the spaces. Visual Studio User. And if we go back to here, we see that there are gonna be different ways of cloning this. Let's go press here, clone. Remember, we have HTTPS and we have SSH. We don't wanna to touch this right now, we wanna keep it simple. Um, so, for this one, how they would have done it. We sh so showed you how we created it in Visual Studio. In this one, we're going to git clone it again. So we're going to create a clone repository. We press on Azure DevOps. We choose that Cloud Cadets backend. And now we're going to go to desktop. And we're going to go to that folder. Where is it? Visual Studio user. And we remember, we have to get a name when, when we do that. And we're going to call it Cloud Cadets. Uh, I guess we'll call it Calcats backend. So I'm teammate number two, even though I'm using the same account. But this is the easiest approach of cloning. Clone. And we saw this earlier with the test repo, but now we just want to verify that it works. We get the we get the solution and we get the project. That's great. Perfect. And let's uh, look at the folder. Cloud Cadets Backend. So we created a uh, separate one, even. Probably should call it Cloud Cadets. Oh, well. You can always rename or do it right from the first time. But there we have it. That's how to get it done from Visual Studio. And in the next uh, video, we're going to do things differently. We're going to try to do all of this, creating a repository uh, through Visual Studio code, because some of you don't use Visual Studio. You might not even use Windows, so or you might simply just like Visual Studio code more. I don't blame you. So, until next time, click.